This is Patrick Bay with the San Francisco Giants, and this is Jim on Base. Welcome back to another episode of the Jim on Bay Show. We're here in San Francisco with Patrick Bailey. And Patrick, it's good to see you. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. And you've had a lot of firsts uh, while you've been up in the big leagues. First home runs, first hits. I saw the other day you met a fan and they gave you a ball and you said it was your first left-handed home run too. So you're getting some good stuff for the man cave. Yeah, for sure. I've never really been like a collector at all. But obviously since being up here, I'm trying to get as much as I can. How does that work? Do you keep it in the locker or do you send it home like with mail insurance or how do you do that? Uh, right now I'm just keeping it at the apartment home and then planning on shipping it back with the truck. And you're from um, Greensboro, North Carolina, right? So it made me think, have you ever had any run-ins with uh, Bumgarner being in Hickory? Or No, I've never had any run-ins with him. Um, obviously a pretty popular guy from <laughs> North Carolina in the, in the Giants history, but no, I've never had any run-ins. Well, growing up there, is that a big town, or uh, who did you maybe grow up rooting for? What was it like for you? So I grew up rooting for Texas, Texas Rangers, but not really any correlation with North Carolina. There's not really, I feel like the biggest fan bases are probably the Atlanta Braves around the North North Carolina range. Kind of, that's an easy, easy trip to make to Atlanta. Were you a uh, Pudge Rodriguez fan then, or who'd you kind of look up to? I looked up to probably Yachty and obviously Buster. Those were the two guys that were kind of, I guess, running the league behind the plate. And when you mentioned Buster, uh, obviously big with the Giants, so has he reached out to you? Or I imagine you have some kind of relationship with him. Yeah, we we've uh, we actually had the 2021 spring training. Uh, we were together, and then you know we text every so often. Have you been golfing with him? Because I ran into him at Pebble Beach, and he's pretty good. I wish uh, that, that's probably on the bucket list. So maybe we can get that happening. We'll see. Well, obviously, with all your success so far, people have been seeing your wife and your baby and clips and stuff. Um, so are they staying with you or do they go back home? How do you handle all that? They're at home right now, but that's just because of the All-Star break. We, we were uh, up at New York, so it's easy for them to go back to North Carolina. But for the most part, they're out here all year and she's traveling. <laughs> she's uh, Briella's been to a lot of, I think, she went out to Canada, so she's already been out of the country at like nine months. So it's been uh, it's been pretty cool to have them a part of the experience and everything. She's logging in some flight miles early, you know? For sure, for sure. So it's got to be cool in seeing maybe some other guys that you came up with through the big leagues. Does that kind of make it a little bit more comfortable? or? Yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, we got a really good group of young guys here. And a lot of, I think a, a lot of guys kind of on the cusp of break-in and uh, helping this team, so it's exciting to have um, such a young group of guys making an impact. And have they been treating you like the, the new guy, or any rookie tasks they put you at so far? Because I know it's the Chewbacca backpacks for the new guys, so. Yeah, I mean, there's some stuff. I think that's more of a bullpen thing, but you, you obviously have your rookie duties and everything, but, um, you know, the veterans on this club do a great job of just feel, making everybody feel included in everything, so it's, it's a good, good clubhouse and a good group of guys. And I know it's a lot, you know, coming to the big leagues and all that, but it's got to be hard, too, just learning the handshakes, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I got a few, but uh, not a, not too many. Yeah, do you have any special ones with guys, or do you, are you kind of learning other people's, or how does that work? Uh, it just kind of happens. It's not really, they don't really plan for it. It just is like, hey, let's do this, and it's like, all right, sounds good. <laughs> and one thing I've noticed about you, too, early on, is that what you wear under the catcher's hat, or is it kind of like a do-rag thing you have? Just curious how that all started. Just a headband. I mean, I never really wore hats being a catcher, and then the headband just kind of helps me keep my hair out of my eyes when <laughs> catching so simple stuff then yeah for sure nothing crazy and you have the mustache so are you going to be participating every year with the uh, yastrzemski mustache man because i grew mine out for the first time and it's fun for a month yours looks good though yeah. you can pull it off yeah i mean they got they they set the bar pretty high so we'll probably throw our throw our name in there but it'll be fun and last question here uh who are you maybe away from the game are you a big music guy are you into hunting what's kind of your interest away from the field um big golfer that's probably that's probably my favorite thing outside of baseball what's your best score then or what's your handicap um i've gotten into the 70s i think i've shot like a 78 79 but that's kind of when i can play consistently i'm like a mid 80s golfer so so you definitely gotta uh teach uh george contos and uh buster posey a thing or two out there you know yeah, i don't know about that <laughs> Awesome. Well, Patrick, it's good to see you. Uh, excited for your success so far and uh, be rooting you on the rest of the year. Perfect. Thanks for having me.